Hola, my name is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about... Dissolved oxygen is the amount of free oxygen in water that is not combined neither with hydrogen forming water nor with the solids existing in the water. Determining dissolved oxygen is important in aeration control, water treatment, in boiler water analysis, etc. The amount of dissolved oxygen is measured in milligrams of oxygen per liter of water, parts per million or parts per billion, and in saturation percentage, which is the ratio between the amount of oxygen dissolved in water and that corresponding to the saturation. And it is calculated with the formula that you can see in the screen. The Dissolved oxygen is measured using galvanic, polarographic, and equilibrium techniques. The galvanic technique is characterized by the fact that it produces its own electric current thanks to the reduction of oxygen at the cathode. The anode is lead or silver, and the cathode is silver with a potassium hydroxide electrolyte. It is used when the potential difference between the cathode and the anode is less than 0.05 volts, being the global reaction, the one you can see on the screen. The polarographic dissolved oxygen sensor is the most common and consists of a gold silver platinum alloy cathode and silver silver chloride anode immersed in an electrolyte of potash and potassium chloride solution in water. A thin gas permeable Teflon membrane allows diffusion of oxygen from the water sample. The chemical reactions that take place are the ones you can see on the screen. Since for each oxygen molecule that is reduced four electrons enter the cell and four leave the anode, an electrical current is obtained from cathode to anode that is directly proportional to the amount of oxygen that passed through the membrane. The optimal voltage between anode and cathode that allows selecting the free oxygen component in the water is 0.8 volts DC. The oxygen balance system has three electrodes with a potassium hydroxide electrolyte. Oxygen from the liquid diffuses through the sensor membrane and is reduced at the cathode, while an equal amount of oxygen is generated at the anode. The reactions are the ones you can see on the screen. Diffusion continues until the partial pressure of oxygen is equalized on both sides of the membrane. The current required to maintain this equilibrium indicates the concentration of oxygen in the solution. Dissolved oxygen is influenced by temperature. Hence, it is necessary to incorporate thermocompensators into the circuit that automatically refer the measurement of a standard temperature. Measurement accuracy is 1% or 0.2 ppm or 2 ppb, which is 5% of the reading. And well, this will be all for today's video. Don't forget to give me a like, subscribe and share. I will upload videos every Wednesday in Spanish and every Friday in English. Adios!